Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hey you guys, let's see here back like I never left with another business tutorial. I actually have never talked anything about business on my YouTube before, but since I'm moving into the realm of vlogging and I get a lot of questions about it on my Instagram, I wanna go ahead and show you guys how I do some essential things for my business. If you guys have a small business or something that requires you to ship items from your home, I'm gonna show you guys what I use personally to ship efficiently from my home. Now, is this gonna be exactly the best method or the cheapest program or whatever? I don't know because I don't know all methods. I only know my method, but what I will say is, me personally, I'm not very, um, crafty and I would honestly say I'm not very savvy because I literally am responsible for every single aspect of my business shipping marketing customer service buying financing and I am looking for literally the easiest way possible to do these things from my home and so I found this method that I'm using this program that I'm using these things that I'm using to just be really simple and not causing me any extra stress and I know you guys are having a lot of extra stress regarding shipping items for your company so hopefully this can help well, first things first let's just go ahead and talk about what you're gonna need to start shipping efficiently from home okay so first things first you're gonna need something to ship your items with and so I wanted to go through I know I'm like Sorry, I wanted to go through some of the shipping packages, mailers that I normally use. So first of all, as you can see, all of these are envelopes, are mailers, bubble mailers, poly mailers. Envelopes, poly mailers, bubble mailers are always going to save you money versus a box. The only way that a box is gonna be better on shipping is if you're using the USPS flat rate boxes and you have a lot of stuff to pack in a box. If you have a lot of heavy items that you can fit into one of those flat rate boxes, then that might save you money. However, if you're shipping clothing, if you're shipping accessories, lashes, things like that, um, and you're just looking for the cheapest method, it might not be the cutest method, but the cheapest method, it's probably gonna be a mailer. So the first type of mailer that I have are these, I think this is 10 by seven, I think this is nine by six, uh, bubble mailers and I use these to ship my lashes these are really good if you're shipping small things fragrances cosmetics accessories you guys they have all different flavors they have all different looks all different styles you can find these on Amazon and I also will put in the link in my blog you gotta go to my website uh-huh uh -huh. For a site that will show you guys all different styles that you can get to match your branding. When I'm shipping cosmetics, I've never had one of these cost more than $4 to send, no matter what I had in it, okay? Next up, I have the poly mailers where I send clothes. For clothing, you do not need a bubble mailer. Clothing is soft, um, is pliable. Bubble mailers are really for things that you don't want to bend. Um, and so if you have like, a lash box or something in there, but clothing is gonna get me anyway. So I have a 10 by 13 poly mailer here. This can usually fit like one to two items. Now I do ship plus size, so sometimes um, some of like the longer dresses or heavier weight items, like a sweater or something like that won't fit in here, but like if it's just like a regular dress, regular shirt, regular pants, I usually can get two items in here, and on average this costs me between seven and eight dollars to send. And then I have this larger envelope. I believe this is 15 by 12, 12 by 15. I usually use this for two to three items. And this also usually costs me seven to eight dollars to send. Okay, so I have never had one of these go over eight dollars and 55 cents. Now, if you're shipping similar things over and over and over and you don't have to pay for packaging, you can order these envelopes from the post office. These are the priority flat rate envelopes. So because they're priority mail, they ship in two to three days. It takes them two to three days to get wherever they're going. And you can stuff this envelope as much as you want. And it's going to be a flat rate of $7.55, I believe, if you order them on their website. For me, this was a lifesaver when I first started my business. I could literally just stuff everything in here, place the address on it. You didn't even have to print out a label. I would just write on the address label and take it to the post office and drop it off and I knew exactly how much it was gonna cost. 
now that I've been in business a couple years and I see that the branding on my pink envelopes and this cost about the same and I could fit a little bit more in here, I go with these. But even still, if you're shipping clothing or soft items, these are really good to have at your house because you know exactly how much it's gonna cost. It's gonna cost $7.55 if you buy them from the website and it's a free envelope. So you know you didn't have to pay for the packaging and you know it's going to get there in two to three days because it is priority mail. So when I first started my business, I like only use these. Now, like I said, I can fit a little bit more in the pink envelopes for the same price. And I just like pink. But if you're just starting out, these are really great too. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to need to ship from home is... A scale I did pick this scale up from Amazon for 20 bucks if you're running a business from home you have to have a scale even if you're not shipping from home if you're not there yet or ready yet this will help you estimate the cost of your items before you get to the post office that means that you can price your items more effectively you have to know and I learned this the hard way you have to have an estimate cost of your shipping before you price your items so that you don't lose money on the back end on shipping. When I started my business, this scared me. Getting a scale, I was like, I'm not ready. I don't know, I'm gonna mess it up. They're gonna send all my packages back. You guys, I promise you, it's super easy. The next thing that you're gonna need is a printer. I will link in my bio what kind of printer I have. You don't need a special printer. You just need something that will print. It can be your regular old inkjet printer or whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be a special printer. You just need something to print on. Honestly, you only need a printer if you want to print your shipping labels. I would suggest printing your shipping labels because if you're shipping directly from a website and you use a program like mine, it will import the person's address directly from where they input it to this label. And so that way you don't have to worry about rewriting it and messing it up. You guys don't know how many packages I've messed up because my L looked like an I or my one looked like an L and it went to the wrong place. So these are Avery shipping labels that I got from Amazon. These print out, there's two on each page. I got a pack of 200. I think it was like 30 bucks, something like that. Um, now they do have cheaper labels on Amazon. You can, you can get like 200 for like $12. Um, but I was finding that those didn't stick as well to my packages. So I just stick with what I know with Avery because if your label fa falls off of your package, it will not make it to where it go. So it really can depend on the type of packaging that you use, but I found that the Amazon labels did not stick to my matte poly mailers like they needed to, so I'm with Avery. So I'll take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Just looks like a sheet of paper, but it's actually a label that you can print and peel off. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to get the postage and all the information on this label. Okay, and the last thing you're gonna need is your phone, your computer, or your iPad. And today we're gonna be using this program called Pirate Ship. Okay, you can go to it from your phone, you can go to it from your iPad, you can go to it from your computer. Um, and it is what is going to create the label for you and I will show you exactly how to do it. Now for me, for my website, I use Shopify. And so Shopify and Pirate Ship have an integration. So that means that my orders will go directly from Shopify to Pirate Ship and I don't have to retype in that person's name or address or anything like that. I just click, put in what type of packaging I have, pay for the postage and I go on about my life. However, if you don't have a website that would do that, you can create and ship labels with Pirate Ship simply by typing in your address, typing in the recipient's address, and then what kind of packaging you have, paying for postage, and printing your label. So let's go ahead. I have an order pack, and I'm gonna sh and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I ship it. And so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over here to Pirate Ship, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I ship it. So I'm gonna go to type of packaging. And the type of packaging that we're going to use is an envelope or a poly bag. <clears throat> and then we need to put in how big the bag is. Now, now, you don't have to guess. They will tell you when you buy the poly mailers what size they are. And so I already know that this is 15.5 by 12.5. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. All right, and then here's where the scale comes in handy. 
So here's where we need to scale. Package weight. So I'm going to go ahead and take my package. I'm going to place it on my scale. So my package weight is 1 pound, 10.4 ounces. I always just go up to the next ounce just in case because the label does actually change the weight just a little bit. So we're going to go 1 pound. I'm going to use this hand. And 11 ounces. Okay. So then it has some questions there. Do we need extra services? Are there hazardous materials? And then right here is a cool option with this app. You can save this package. So you can, if you're shipping things that are similar size and weight every time, you can save it so that it will save this envelope and that weight so that you can use it over and over again. So we're going to go ahead and get rates. Okay, so it gives us an option. So I haven't paid for the item yet. It just tells me how much it's going to cost. So I have three options. I can send it by priority mail and it will take one to three days and it will cost $8.12. Or I can do parcel select ground and it will cost $8.02. For me, I want to just do priority. I like doing priority for all my things. And then we're going to go ahead and buy the label. All right, once I've bought the label, I'm going to go ahead and print it. I already have my printer connected and I have it set on two shipping labels per page. So I got my pink packages together, and so I'm going to go ahead and drop these off at the post office. Once you put the label on them, you don't have to do anything with the post office, people. You don't got to talk to them. You don't got to say nothing. All you got to do is just drop it off and walk away. So that's what I like because I do not like dealing with the post office people. You guys, so honestly, like, that's it. All you need is a scale, a printer, and your phone, computer, or whatever electronic device that you're using to get people's addresses to ship their items. Um, I will show you a couple other things that I use for shipping. So one other thing, hold that thought. For clothing, I do wrap all of my clothing in um, tissue paper just for a little extra protection. Sometimes the poly mailers can be quite thin. And so I do order the tissue paper in bulk from Nashville Wraps. And I will have links on my website for all of these things. So make sure you check out the blog. And then in my packaging, I also include a little thank you card here that I designed on Canva and I printed on Canva. It was a very good price. So I make a thank you card and I put it in this little package that I got from Amazon. These are called candy bags or something like that. And I put in a little bit of candy and I put my business card, just a little something to say thank you to my customers. And so they get a little coupon, they have my information, cute. Okay, you guys, so I think I covered everything. If y'all have any more questions, comments, or concerns about how I ship from home, be sure to drop them in the comments below and make sure that you go to my website. The link is in the bio somewhere. But make sure you stop by my website and it will have links to the poly mailers, the paper, the bubble wrap, the envelope, my printer, my scale, basically everything I need to ship. I will even show you guys where I make my thank you cards, my business cards, all that, etc. Whew, hopefully that wasn't too much. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a couple minutes and now I actually have to go pack the rest of my orders. I'll see you guys a little bit later on today. Y'all have a good one. Bye.